The acid has eaten its way through your eyes and you are blind. What is the scariest fact you know? You're most likely to be murdered by someone you trust. And if your spouse or partner is murdered there's approximately a 100% chance that you're the one that did it. Therefore, law enforcement will immediately assume you did it, or you are at least the number one suspect. Contrary to what you might see on TV, a good deal of police investigation is essentially guessing who the most likely person seems to be, then trying to prove your theory is correct. Hopefully, you get something pretty solid like a confession, although those aren't perfect, murder weapon, or similar. There's an unexploded nuclear warhead off the coast of Savannah, Georgia, and nobody knows where. Scariest thing about lost nuclear warheads is that we only know about the ones the US lost, we have no idea where or how many warheads the Soviets lost. Since 1950, there have been 32 nuclear weapon accidents. This could be accidental launching, firing, detonating, theft or loss of the weapon. Of these 32 accidents 6 of them have been lost and never recovered. No matter who you are, or your age or apparent general state of health, it is possible to simply drop dead at any time from something like a brain aneurysm or previously undiagnosed medical issue. One friend of mine, 20 female, in the middle of a conversation in a public park, paused and said oh, then reached up and touched her temple with a puzzled look on her face, and fell over dead. Another, male 40, simply sat back and closed his eyes in the middle of dinner. No distress, no signals. As if he had simply shut down and gone to sleep. The Aztec death whistle was used to incite fear in both enemies and sacrificial humans. The whistle would be played before killing the sacrifice to make the heart rate go up. You know that scene from Indiana Jones, The Temple of Doom, where he grabs the dude's heart out of his chest. That's what the Aztecs did and the whistle would spike up heart rate, and the heart would still be pulsing in your hand. In conclusion, the whistle was used to scare enemies and sacrifices. That out of all of the people you see, meet, or interact with, one or some of them have murdered someone. I used to think about this a lot when I was a waitress. A guy used to frequently come into a restaurant I worked at, and he creeped us all out. Ate like a glutton, sucked down about 10 sodas, gave this weird vacant stare, and was just generally unpleasant to talk to. We all hated dealing with him and would take turns. So one day, my coworker comes in all excited and shows everybody the news on her phone. He was arrested for killing multiple homeless people in the city. I am more prone to trust my instincts about people who give off bad vibes now instead of giving them the benefit of the doubt. If you weird me out, no thanks. I'm not sure that a lot of people know to what extent OCD can affect someone. There are many subsets of OCD, not just what is commonly thought of, cleaning obsessively, tying and retying your shoes, etc. OCD is based around intrusive thoughts, things that everyone has, but are extreme and have the real potential to be harmful. For example, harm OCD is the extreme fear of hurting yourself or someone you know, even if you don't have violent tendencies. There's also religious OCD, sexual orientation, even pedophilia, where you have a strong irrational fear that you're attracted to minors. Having your mind make you think you're a criminal and will snap at any moment is, quite simply, terrifying. Interstellar black holes, and if one was getting close we would be aware of it because in order to remain a black hole, it has to have a mass greater than our sun, and its gravitation would have an obvious impact on our solar system well before it got close enough to consume us. Giant rocks and solar flares are probably the only things from space we have to be worried about at this point. Everything else is observable before it gets close. When a nuclear bomb drops, the explosion creates a vacuum. Anything nearer to the original explosion but wasn't killed or destroyed will be sucked into this, with some bodies going literally inside out with the force. Also, a Soviet general in the 1980s saved the world as a Soviet system malfunction told its operators that the US had fired a nuclear bomb. The Soviet general was meant to report this, but didn't. If he did, the USSR would have responded, seeing the third use of a nuclear bomb against another power. A piece of fiber optic cable can break off enter your bloodstream, create a ton of mini punctures in your veins, and you'd never feel the initial puncture. That and pulmonary embolisms from shots. I've also heard of people ingesting tiny bits of wire brush used to clean grills and getting into their bloodstream. The chance that an airplane might fall on you is never zero. The chance that a snake might bite your butthole while you're pooping is never zero. The chance that you'll actually find someone to love and live for is never zero. The chance that you can spontaneously combust is never zero. 
The chance that you could trip and die is never zero. The chance that I stop making myself paranoid because of weed is also never zero. Your phone could blow up in your face at any moment. You never know if someone spat in your food or put something gross in it when you order takeout from Uber Eats etc. The sun could have blown up in the time I wrote this post and we wouldn't know till we all die, I'm sure some spacey boy would notice but whatever. Yellowstone caldera is due, and when it explodes, goodbye North America. It is if, and not, when, with Yellowstone keep in mind. There are lots of examples in the geology there that it often erupts in multiple hot spots and releases pressure over time and doesn't explode. So there's a very good chance that it will just do that rather than annihilating part of the country. There is no way to stop someone from stealing from you. Be it data or physical stuff. You can do things to slow them down or make the risk too high. But if someone wants your stuff it's theirs. Security is only about making things harder. And also the effort you could take to prevent it is orders of magnitude higher than what they would have to do to subvert it. You lock down your house. They can just pull up next to you while you're in your car and shoot you. Spend 50k on an armored car, they can just shoot you in the parking lot of a supermarket while your hands are full of groceries. To prevent it, you would have to be on your guard all the time. They get you, they would just have to wait for one time you aren't. The anniversary of your death rolls around every year, without you knowing. And on the anniversary of your birth, we remind you incessantly that you are getting closer to the year it's going to happen. Human fat burns like candle wax. Over 4% of death row inmates are innocent. You're 6.7% more likely to die on your birthday than any other day of the year. Japanese giant hornet venom can dissolve human tissue. Arsenic was used to dye clothes in the 19th century. One can of Coca-Cola contains 10 teaspoons of sugar. 80% of all fatal car crashes are caused by men. There are currently approximately 90,000 missing people in the USA. Junko Furuta's tormentors are alive, well, and free. Don't Google. Just don't. I'm serious. China's one-child policy on population means that in the present generation, you'll hardly find anyone with a real brother or sister. The truly scary part is that a couple generations later, nobody will have a second cousin either. Uncomfortable truth. The policy is only enforced in the cities, they want the rural populations to grow as they provide military fodder and disposable labor forces. Why do you think they are still growing so fast? The one-child policy has been in place for 35 plus years and they are still outpacing American growth rates in population where we have no such restriction on our population. There were well over 200 dead bodies on Mount Everest. Over the last decade there have been massive cleanup efforts and most of the bodies have been completely removed from the mountain. The ones that were not, have mostly been pushed completely out of sight and way off the route. Every year the conditions change and whole or partial bodies may emerge. The Hoer Young concentration camp in North Korea is 83 times larger than Auschwitz. You will die someday, possibly horribly, and you have no way of knowing what, if anything, will happen after. The second part of that is the scary part for me. My worst fear is that it is just. Over. Like nothing happens and I just stop existing. There is a brain tumor called a pontine glioma. It can strike anyone but the overwhelming majority are children ages 5 to 10. If you get it, you're dead. 100%. There is no cure or effective treatment. Radiation can help temporarily but it only puts off death for a few months. The only thing you can do is receive palliative treatment and wait to die. At any given moment, almost without warning, a gamma ray burst can come through space and instantaneously end all life on the planet and we would be powerless to stop it, may not even have time to know it's happening before we're gone. We wouldn't know because it would be traveling at the speed of light. But it can really sounds the most merciful way to go. No grief from those left behind no worrying about having affairs in order, no pain or feebleness to deal with, just gone in an instant, not even time for fear or anything. Stalin in World War II tried and failed several times, to make a super soldier by messing around with human DNA. Another one was Dr. Death, he's a real person, he was able to create the Aryan race genetically by changing up your DNA. The rate at which an accident, not death, but accident, occurs from taking an elevator? One for every one million miles traveled. The rate at which an accident occurs from taking the stairs? One for every 200,000 miles traveled. You're five times more likely to have an accident walking up and down the stairs than you are by riding in an elevator. 
If a government were to place satellites in orbit that were armed with inert tungsten rods, these rods would be capable of hitting a target as small as a city block with the kinetic force equivalent of a nuclear detonation. And since these rods from God are completely inert, we would have no idea they were there, or that they were coming. At least two governments have explored this idea. When someone gets their head decapitated, their brain will stay active for about 15 seconds. Also when you cut the brainstem may about the first vertebrae, the recipient of the cut will die without their knowledge and painlessly. Honestly I don't understand why that isn't death penalty in the states. Neither cruel no pain, nor unusual less so than a drug. Acid attacks do not ruin someone instantly. Even if the victim gets to a hospital straight away, they cannot remove the acid from the skin completely. The acid takes its time, working its way through layers of skin, slowly destroying the victim piece by piece. If you've been attacked with acid, you could wake up one day and find that the acid has eaten its way through your eyes and you are blind. This happens to women in India every day and is utterly abhorrent. Nothing is infinite, literally nothing. The window of time in which life anywhere in the universe is possible, is just as finite as our own life. Even the black hole that our sun might create one day will die and fade out. Without anything to even notice it. I had an existential crisis the first time I realized this. The planet is 4.5 billion years old. The dinosaurs only roamed the earth for 195 million years of that. But that's still a long time, but a relative speck in the lifetime of the planet. Human beings are estimated to have only have been here for 100,000 to 200,000 years or so in our modern form. And humans have only been keeping an actual recorded history for 5,000 years or so. Compare that to billions of years this planet has experienced. That time is literally incomprehensible to us. All of our lives, our species, everything is nothing more than another microscopic speck in the web of time and space. Hard to really think any of this really matters. No matter what you do, or who you are, or what reasons you have to live, nature doesn't care. Cancer, Ebola, SARS, plague, kidney failure. Everyone from infants to Martin Luther King Jr. is subject to slow, excruciating death they did nothing to deserve. During World War I, after the Russian-held fort was flooded with chlorine gas, the Germans were expecting to waltz in with no fight BC they knew none of the defenders had gas masks. Instead they got ambushed by 900 half-insane Russian troops who were literally retching up pieces of lung because the chlorine turned into hydrochloride acid in their lungs. They looked like zombies, complete with sunken eyes, rotting skin, and way too much blood. Creeps me the hell out. People remain alive for about 5 to 10 minutes after they are clinically dead, with very intense brain activity. Furthermore, DMT is released in large quantities at this moment that can radically alter your sense of time and yourself. Some people even think that is the cause of near-death experiences, visions of heaven or hell, etc. Statistics show that about 1 out of 5 people you know are psychopaths or sociopaths. 1 out of 20 are capable of becoming serial killers. Most serial killers never get caught. Not every sociopath or psychopath is dangerous. Most become leaders and politicians. Humans can live up to 6 days skinned alive, 4 if you add salt. Thanks for allowing Radio TTS to F up your day. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for more uplifting videos. Click the right box for the Reddit Facts playlist. Share your favorite fact in the comments below.